So now let's see how we can request signatures from other users from within Adobe Acrobat Reader. So to request signatures, first of all, I'm going to go to fill and sign. And once I do that, I'm going to click on request signatures right here. So once I do that here, you can see that I got, uh, I got an option so I can add in a uh, request signature for multiple people. But for this example, I'm just going to add in one. So I'm just going to type in tutube channel at gmail.com right here and then select out this email address. And once I do that, I can also add in a custom message or I can say test right here. And I'm going to say custom message just like this. And then I'm, I can specify where to sign. So I'm just going to click on specify where to sign. So what happens is that the documents get uploaded in cloud first. So this is supported by Adobe sign. So now uh, it is loading as you can see. And as the loading completes, you can specify where the users can sign out. So you can see that the document has been loaded right here. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and click and you can request whether uh, you want to ask them to write a text or a signature right here. So let's say this is a text field right here. You can resize this out as well. And here you want to add in a signature and this is going to be a signature field. I can click over here and I can uh, see more field types as well. So you can set the signers name field right here. You can si add signers date field and so forth. We can add in, let's say, for example, check boxes right here and so forth as well. So once uh, you decide this out on where you want the signature be, uh, to be, then you can just go around and hit the send. So now it submits out the file right there and it is sent to the other person, just like that. And now what happens is that the other person will receive a signature request just like this. So if you were to go over here, you can see that the other person received a request. So let's say, for example, here, tutube at outlook.com has requested me to sign a document. So I'm just going to go around and click on review and sign. So once I do that, what happens is that the uh, request signature actually pops up and then the other person can actually go ahead and type uh, type in things. For example, they can go, go ahead and type in the name. So I'm just going to type in tutube right here. And over here, you can see that click to sign is an option. You can click over here and then the other person will be able to type their signature right here or will be able to draw the signature or add in an image or even uh, add in signature from mobile if they wish to. So you can just go around and you can see that there's the signature. They can go around right here and there's the date that is uh, generated uh, from where the signature is, uh, when the signature was signed. And then uh, the other person can click on click to sign and now it says you're all set. So now what uh, will happen is that the sender of the signature will receive an email uh, that the signature is done. So now over here on the inbox of uh, digitube at outlook.com, you can see that there's uh, two mails. So you can see that the test has been sent. So this is for the uh, email uh, notification for the request sent for the signature. And then the other one is the one with the signature done, as you can see right here. So this is the signed document, as you can see. And as I click it, you can see that the signed signature is now here. So you can just press OK. So you can um, trust this uh, right here. And then you can see that you can access uh, the requested signature. And then you got the updated file. And that is how you can request signatures and then get the other person to sign uh, the document and then receive the uh, signed document uh, on your end. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.